Hey students, so for this video, we'll be doing our analysis number five for our satire and evasion tracker. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll open up the presentation. I'll be helping you out with the first of three, and then you'll be doing the next two on your own. So I believe, nope, this is just a one slider. So if you could go ahead and pause and give this excerpt a read so that you know which one we're focusing on. Go for it. All right, so now that you've read the scene, think about what device, what satirical device do you think is happening? You might have seen it when I went to the other slide, but if you didn't, go ahead and think about it. What satirical device do you think is occurring? And it's situational irony. So we know already in this book that we have a lot of situational irony. It's one of the primary tools that Mark Twain uses. And so let's talk about how this scene uses situational irony. So this scene is similar to the letter scene where it is ironic that Huck thinks Tom trying to free Jim is immoral. In actuality, their freeing him is very moral. However, unlike the letter scene, there is a lot of very problematic writing here. First, Huck uses the N-word, which before this scene he had completely stopped using. This suggests that Tom is a bad influence on Huck and is bringing back barbaric and cruel behaviors from the beginning of the book. Ultimately, I don't like Tom. I don't think he's going to really help Huck or Jim, making this part of the book frustrating. So in this student sample, this student let us know how they felt at the very end about Tom. Um, their opinion became very, very clear. You could hold the same opinion. You don't necessarily have to. That's why I'm telling you maybe not only simply to write this section in your own words, but also in your own opinion, if you don't agree with something that's in here. Or if you do agree with it, then just make sure to put it in your own words, still in your own thoughts. And so essentially, um, what the student was pointing out is the fact that um, we see this scene referencing a lot of previous scenes. So first it seems to reference the letter scene where Huck is uh, feeling confused because he has a, a inherent sense of right and wrong where he feels that it's right to help his friend Jim, but then that goes against the things that he has been taught um, by the other adults in his life. And so he feels as though he's breaking the rules and he's been told if you break the rules, then you're being bad. And so he feels as though he's being bad. And again, Twain wants his readers to be bad. He wants them to, or to be bad, to rebel against the norms and to break the rules um, and to do what they know is actually right. However, this scene also seems to reference things such as when Tom and Huck initially played that trick on Jim, um, dehumanizing him and mocking him. And so that's really problematic. And so this student is pointing out the fact that they don't particularly like that Tom Sawyer's back in the novel because they think that he's a bad influence. And they point out how Huck using the N-word again after he had essentially stopped using it, um, it foreshadows the fact that Tom is a bad influence. All right, so that is the analysis of the 30, chapter 34 excerpt. So go ahead now and you'll do your own analysis for chapter 35 and chapter 38, which goes on to two slides. All right, if you struggle at all or have any questions at all about those two chapters, um, feel free to gchat me, email me, or to visit my office hours. All right, thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you for our next and final analysis round. All right, bye.